I've been busy. I like I know you're surprised. I know I've been really busy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Miss Lakeisha here, if you don't know me. And um, it's been a while since I've actually done this, so I'm trying to remember how this goes. I know y'all know about how the whole Black Lives Matter movement and the amount of um, murders in our country in South Africa, like women, women, men, women getting murdered and stuff. It's been hectic. Corona is here. It's a freaking hectic time. I'm back at school. I'm not even gonna explain how that's going and I know some of you might be going through a lot emotionally mentally and All I know is that you can just take it one step at a time Don't freaking overexert yourself because that is not doing you any good practice some self-care It really does help. I've been off social media for quite a bit. I'm on and off um, and basically when I'm on I basically try and Post whatever I can but most of the time I've just been watching a bunch of videos um, since I'm a very small youtuber I mean I can't donate to movements and stuff because I'm broke I'm that I be broke honey and I'm sure some of you are broke so I'll list a few websites and videos that you can use to help support movements you can sign petitions I've just watched uh, a bunch of YouTube videos that have ads in Bruh. not fun but it's for a good cause since i'm broke and it's kind of revenue for the youtubers so yeah i've been doing that anywho enough of that babbling on this is my first diy video guys but i hope you guys like this video it's for gifts diy gift ideas um actually works for pretty much everything it doesn't just have to limit to birthday gifts it can limit to, uh, can be i don't know you guys can figure that out but here are a few gift ideas that i came up with actually a few that I came up with and a few that I was inspired by and other stuff that I just stole from other YouTubers. We love. Okay, we appreciate it. I gave them a view and I'm using it to for the okay, anyways, moving on. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you love this video, don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. I honestly don't know what I've said so far, so let's just get on with this video. Jonathan and I'm taking over today and we making bath salt today. So I need Epsom salt, baking soda, oil, coloring food, a bowl, a spoon. So you need a cup of Epsom salt and pour it in a bowl. And then you'll need a cup of baking soda, pour it in the bowl. And then you put a few drops of essential oil and until it smells nice. Nice. So then you put food coloring in the bowl and mix it up. And then you're taking a jar and put in the bowl salt carefully in the jar. We didn't realize we didn't film the pink box salt. The video just went off itself. So now we're gonna start creating names. 
Take me to the end of the moon Tell me you'll be on your soon I don't wanna wait, no So I created a name for the pink bath salt Pink sparkle We could be dancing in the stars We could be floating all the way As long as I'm safely in your arms And it don't really matter Then we made a name for the green one Lazy Lake Space makes me sad So then we gonna cut the names off. So then we gonna use sticky paper and stick it on the jar. Then we decorated pink sparkle. I'm hiding just behind the stars, but then we done the same to Lazy Lake. When is day? How come the sky at night makes me this way? Why are you so far away? Galaxy cast away. Yes, pink sparkle and Lazy Lake. Subscribe to my sister's channel. Hey guys, welcome back. We'll be making stickers. So I went online onto like Pinterest on the net and searched up pictures. Most of them were BTS pictures, so don't be surprised. I then went ahead and cut my pictures, leaving a small border around each and every one of them. Side notes, if you happen to not have a printer, you can definitely draw your own pictures, it works just as well. Then I laid out my pictures on tactic paper which is what Americans call them I think South Africans call it sticky paper I don't know we use it to cover our books but then I also added another layer of sticky paper stick <laughs> English sorry sticky paper on the stickers that were on the tactic paper if that makes sense if you don't have access to sticky paper then you can just use tape which works just as well all you need is parchment paper so that it's easier for your stickers to peel off and finally you can cut out your stickers making sure that you leave a small border as well again and you're done and that's it that's how you make stickers there are other ways of making it but this is the easiest for me and so I just tested these out in books phone covers and it works really well all I know is that I'm gonna be hoarding these stickers because that's all I do with stickers let me know if that's weird because I don't know, let me know in the comments below if you do the same thing. Next we'll be making hanging pictures. I don't know what to call this, but it's... A room decor piece so you'll need a rod a few pictures and string I printed out my pictures on glossy paper which honestly I think it's so fancy I don't know I feel so I don't know I feel bougie with these but anyways you don't have to do that you can print on plain paper the only thing is that your paper will bend when you um, apply the wool or string so next i laid my pictures out making sure that the colors go together because i do art so whatever i don't know how to exp i don't know how to explain that but yeah everything will be balanced i guess and then i went ahead and added my string to the stick and then i uh, uh, english i don't know what i did i taped the back of the picture with the wool with the string yeah another thing i actually made this diy a few years ago 
for my room and I didn't have a rod like this one so I used a stick that I found outside and it worked amazing. So here I'm just making sure that my pictures are aligned. A few of them were a bit skew but it wasn't too much of a problem. And then I cut the ends off and that was basically it. I really don't know what I was doing here, like, oh my word, no. <laughs> the next DIY is candles we love candles we love a burning flame of fragrance you'll need a couple of old jars and candles so basically I took old candles and cut them up if that makes sense or I honestly don't know what I was doing here I was trying to I was don't play with knives kids please don't it, it's dangerous I don't know so it was hard to get the candle out so I just put these candles in hot water so it would be easier to get them out of the jar which also didn't work except for I don't know next I went ahead and shaved my candles I don't know I just made them into little tiny pieces so it was easier to melt it's I don't know it just it works the same as putting the entire chunk of candles in a jar and yeah melting them I don't know how to explain this but I put them in an old jar and melted them next we'll be making our own essential oil or fragrance I used cinnamon and vanilla essence and coconut oil I took a teaspoon of coconut oil and warmed it up and took a teaspoon of cinnamon powder and a teaspoon of vanilla essence and usually this smells like little bakery or like cookies or something like gingerbread mostly but yeah and yeah I don't know you can smell and see what works for you but that's what I did okay so I did make a couple candles so on the left I added an old candle that was purple and had a fragrance of its own and on the right I added crayons just to get a new color and added my essence. When trying to add a color to your candles you do want to use wax crayons because oil, that's all I'm saying, oil. Here's a little tip, if you have jars that are filled with stubborn wax stains just wash them in hot water with soap, like boiling hot water. So next I added string or a candle wick to my jar using press stick or back to back tape since I couldn't stick it with glue, a glue gun because I was too lazy to get it and then I poured in my little, my little English, my little candle mix, not little, but my candle mix into the jars and made sure I tied like a little stick to hold the candle wick in place. So I went in and poured in my other colors with different fragrances and for this one I layered different colors making sure that before I layered with another mixture it was completely dry solidified and then I did the same with everything else now we're gonna go ahead and make a name for our candles and I named one of them good vibes you'll see which one I named because yeah and I decorated it with little flowers leaves and added a bit of color to it and yeah that was fun not really so I just stuck this on with sticky paper and once the candles had hardened, I cut off the remaining string and added stickers to my little jars and that's it. That's how you make candles and these smell really good. Last DIY I made Polaroids. Um, I asked friends 
she sent me some pictures and I edited them on Fisco to make them look more like Polaroids since I actually don't have a Polaroid camera and I printed these out. What you will need for this DIY is plastic which can be like a book sleeve or something and white cardboard paper or normal paper and your pictures. So before printing out these pictures I did make sure that these were Polaroid size and I made sure I printed a template of the Polaroid frame thing as you can see here I'm cutting it out and that's what I'll be using to make sure that the pieces look like Polaroids if that makes sense. So I took my Polaroid template and traced the outside measurements and then basically cut it up or cut it out not cut it out that sounds weird so next I traced the inside measurements onto the same piece of cardboard and drew it out and then cut it out. I then made sure that the frame wasn't too big or small for my pictures and then I repeated the process. Okay, so now I grabbed that plastic sleeve thingy and cut it out the same size as the Polaroid and this is basically going to be the shiny part of your Polaroid that comes just before your picture I guess you can say So I cut the sides of my plastic so that it would fit into my frame or onto my frame and then I cleaned my plastic with a little wipe or whatever so that you couldn't see like fingerprints or any kind of residue then stuck it on waited for it to dry and then finally stuck in my picture face forward and added a white paper at the back so it wouldn't look so weird and then cut it out and that's how you make polaroids basically So I did ask a bunch of my friends if you are some of the English again. Okay. If you are about if you are the people that are that let's try that again. If I asked you to send me pictures of your soul, um just know I do have your pictures here and I might finish those Polaroids. You're not left behind, please don't feel excluded or anything. I just didn't finish it because that's I'm not gonna lie that's actually time consuming especially with the glue waiting for it to dry that's a lot anyways shout out to this week's comment winner please go and check this person's account out their social media accounts and that's basically it from me don't forget to follow me on instagram at miss underscore lakeisha love and you can also check out my twitter account at miss underscore lakeisha one three four i think one three four yes i hope you guys stay strong through all this mess that's happening it just keeps getting worse 2020 i don't know what she's doing miss rona i don't know who she's trying to compete with but she's doing some things but I also hope that you guys stay safe, healthy, don't forget to wash your hands, don't forget to stay away from people, please, because, bruh, that, mm -mm, that's it for me, and, yeah, guys, that's, anyways, bye!